Okay, we're going to talk about 2D shapes and their properties. So, um, we're going to look at triangles and quadrilaterals. Triangles, three sided shapes. We have three main types of triangles. We have the equilateral triangles, equilateral. Uh, so, that's where all the sides and all the angles are the same. And we'll come back to about the angles in a minute. Then we have ones where two sides are the same and they are called isocellies okay and the third type is not a right angle triangle but is in fact a scaling oops spell that right S C A scaling S C A L E N E now we can have a right angled scaling triangle we could actually have a right angled isosceles triangle but that's a subtype of triangle, a right angle triangle. The three main types are equilaterals, where all the sides are the same, isosceles, where two sides are the same, and scalene, where all the sides are different. And that can be denoted by doing that one, two, three, so there's none the same. Whereas this, where you mark them with one like that, one like that, means that those two are the same. Okay, let's just talk about the angles in a triangle. Angles in a triangle add up to 180. All the angles inside any triangle are always 180. So if we're looking at an equilateral triangle, they're all the same, each one is going to be 60 degrees because 60, 60 and 60 makes 180. In an isosceles triangle, these two angles are the same. So where does the line of symmetry come down the middle? That means either side, the angles are the same. And that can help you solve a lot of questions. Okay, another thing that we sometimes use to describe triangles is the word congruent, which means identical. Identical. Or the same. So they are the same shape. They are have the same size. If two triangles are isosceles uh, congruent, they have the same sides and the same angles. They are exactly the same. It could be spun round or flipped over, but if you pick one up, you should be able to place it on top of another one if they are congruent. Okay, quadrilaterals. Here we've got most different types of quadrilaterals. Quadrilaterals, quad meaning four, laterals meaning sides. So we've got four sided shapes. Now the ones that we should know are the square and the rectangle. Okay. Uh, a slight annoyance that I have from primary schools is they tend to, to describe squares and rectangles as being completely different things but a square is a special case of a rectangle. A rectangle is a four-sided shape where the corners are right angles. Um, a square is one of those but all, it's also a shape where the corners are right angles and the sides are all the same. So a square is a special type of rectangle. As a lot of people get a bit upset at me when I say that because they think squares and rectangles are completely different things. So when I ask people for rectangle to draw me a rectangle, if you draw a square, that's fine because it is a rectangle. Okay, other ones that come into these categories, we've got um, this special one which looks a bit like a diamond, but the technical name for that is a rhombus. Rhombus. And a rhombus is like a square that's been squished because all the sides are the same, um, but the angles are not necessarily 90. Now again, squares, all squares are rhombuses, just like all squares are rectangles, they're just special rectangles, they're also special rhombuses. They are rhombuses where the, the, the angles are 90 degrees because all the sides are the same in a rhombus. In a square that's also true, but it has 90 degree corners, so they are special cases of the rhombuses as well. And just to complete it all, we've got the parallelograms. Parallelogram. Now a parallelogram is just a shape where opposite sides are parallel. Let's actually bring the word in parallel. Okay, now all four of these are parallelograms, because in all four of them, the opposite sides are parallel. We denote opposite sides being parallel by drawing arrows on the sides. We've got one arrow on these sides to show that these two are the same, and we've got two arrows to show that these are the same but different to those two. So, 
a parallelogram that's not a rhombus, a rectangle, or a square is just called a parallelogram. But a rhombus is a parallelogram. They are a subset of the parallelograms, just the same as the rectangles are a subset of parallelograms, and so are squares. Squares are parallelograms. So if I ask you to draw a parallelogram, if you draw me a standard parallelogram, a rectangle, a rhombus, or a square, they will all do. Now the other types of quadrilaterals that are not parallelograms or not have parallel sides are this shape, which looks like the roof of a house, which is the trapezium. Trapezium. And this shape, which looks a lot like something you might fly in the sky, and in fact that's what it's called, it's called a kite. Now, with a trapezium you have one pair of parallel sides, these two, two aren't parallel, and in the most common types of trapezium these two are the same, but they don't have to be. These sides can be different, you can be drawn any way that you join, so long as you join up two parallel sides with two more sides, any old way, it becomes a trapezium. If they're the same, it's called an isosceles trapezium because these two are the same. In a kite, the only thing we need to know about a kite is it has one line of symmetry down the middle. Okay, these two sides are the same and these two sides are the same. And it has this property, which quite a few quadrilaterals have, is that the diagonal crosses at right angles. That doesn't happen in a trapezium, it doesn't happen in a rectangle, it doesn't happen in a parallelogram, but it does happen in a rhombus. You'll see those cross at right angles and in a square. The diagonals cross at right angles. Okay, so for some shapes, diagonals cross at right angles, and that can be a defining part of the shape, and others it doesn't. So those are all the properties of 2D shapes for triangles and quadrilaterals.